Hmm, wonder what's in the Jordan Pond House blend tea. So, shaky. Sounds like something might be in here. Ta-da! Today I have some pins. I have uh, pins. These are mostly military pins. Here's one that goes on your hat. And we have uh, various different pins for the military, different um, branches of service, uh, not branches of service, but different areas of service. Here's the Ordnance Corps. And then we have uh, Lieutenant Bars. And Some of these are just regular pins. Like this angel pin. And this key pin that says Jesus. Because Jesus is the key. Jesus is the key. Here's a B pin. Here's a star. Now this star actually is a, a Russian star pin. Uh, here's an apple. And uh, the Air Force wanted to be weird and different, I guess. So instead of, you know, being standard like the Army, they decided, oh, we're going to make our ranks have a giant circle with a star in the middle on our patches and stuff. Where the Marines and the Army and the Navy are just, you know, regular just stripes and you know, Air Force has to be fancy. Make their stuff look like wings. Here's the interesting thing. Now let's look at some more patches I got. Now here's something that, um, I guess the Latter-day Saints do some kind of scouting system too or something because here's something I found that, if, that uh, they had them a multi-regional encampment called Zion's Camp. It was in, I guess they do it every year. It's like a little camp for Latter-day Saints. And then here are three uh, space patches. They're from the Apollo missions and different things. If you go to um, Huntsville, Alabama, there's a, this is where, uh, that's where I got mine. Now there's probably other space museums. I went to Huntsville, Alabama and um, that's where I got mine. Anyway, there's a space museum. I think it's, it's a national space museum. There's probably other ones all across the country. Anyway, it's in Huntsville, Alabama. I went and uh, they sell these uh, patches in the, uh, the museum. They have like every patch from every space mu mission that they had. <coughs> <coughs> but uh, I think they were like five dollars or something or piece or whatever, and we only got a couple of them. So we picked out, I guess I picked out the ones that I like the picture of best, <laughs> or something. Anyway, me and my brother went to Huntsville, Alabama, and we visited the Space Museum. Oh, I can tell you a funny story about that. Hey look, I found some more of the uh, patches for the Royal Ambassadors. 
you see, see on here that you got the night pitch, you got the square pitch, you got the page pitch, you got lead one, lead two, and lead three. But did you have these little bars? <laughs> All right, well, looking at some of my dad's patches he got from working for Terminix <clears throat> in West Tennessee. Authorized technician for Centricon, and he was awarded the Anchorman Award. While looking at them, I'll tell you the funny story about the uh, going to Huntsville, Alabama trip. Funny story is me and my brother went to Huntsville, Alabama. We had a certain amount of money. We we brought our own food. We parked in. We we. We went to a national park every evening on the way up there to sleep. We cooked our own food. Uh, we uh, hiked around the national park every day. And uh, w when we finally got there, um, we, uh, we got there. And uh, when we were shopping uh, to get, you know, these patches, and a few other things. I had a little bit of money and I spent and he had a little bit of money but he bought a book and the book was above budget because he needed money for gas right? I told him the book was too expensive he does not need to buy the book. I told my brother the book was too expensive. Do not buy the book. I repeat, do not buy the book. We will need that money to buy gas. I literally told him. And you know what he did? He bought the book anyway. So we were on the way home. True story, true story. We were on the way home. We get like... 20 miles from Memphis, I think, or something. I don't know. We were we were almost in Memphis, and we got to a gas station because we ran out of gas. And we don't have any money. We have some change. This is back before they had cell phones, y'all. So we had some change. And the gas station just happened to have uh, uh, a payphone. Remember those? Payphones. Like, you don't even see those anymore because everybody has cell phones now. There's no even point of payphones. <laughs> anyway, it makes like the movie phone booth for people who've never, don't even understand what a payphone is. The, one day, these days, they're going to be like, phone booth? What is in the world is a payphone? It even, I don't even know how Superman changes anymore because there's no phone booths for him to jump in. But anyway, <laughs> I regret to change. But seriously, seriously. We had enough change to call the house. And we had to call Dad to bring, to come get us, well, not really get us, but come out there like 20 miles away so he could buy some gas for the truck. Freaking hilarious. I told my brother. I told him. I told my brother. I told him. Do not buy the book. He bought it anyway. So, that's a funny story. True funny story. Remember, God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Keep on gaming, and I hope y'all like these uh, patches and different things. I got more, so I'm going to do a couple more videos. Laters.